Today I'm going to be casting a nickel copper alloy ring. Let's jump right in. All right, so I'm gonna be com combining this piece of nickel and these little tiny pieces of copper to create a ring. And uh, we're off and running. All right, it's update time. So the metals are getting really hot inside the foundry, which is good. You can see it's really red hot in there. And come up here. I've just made the mold for the ring. I just took this piece of broken glass bottle and put it in the sand. Yeah. Okay, so I think it's almost melted. You can see it's really, really hot. And so the mold, I took out the middle of the mold so I can drill the hole after I cast it, which I think is going to be easier than trying to cast it with the hole in it. So yeah, that's, that's why I did that. So here is the future ring, or what's going to be a ring, right after I cast it. So there's no hole in the center, which is what I wanted, and I think it's kind of hard to see for you, for you guys, but it's kind of got these layers, kind of like gold on the top, then a layer of copper right in the middle, and then nickel colored on the bottom, or the top, I guess. So yeah, it, it'll be cool. It's a little odd shaped, which is okay. It'll still be cool. And what I thought was interesting is that when when I poured it in, the the nickel on the top started bubbling. So we have these two big bumps. And I I don't know why that happened, but I thought that that was kind of interesting. All right, so now we need to clean it up, drill the hole, and make it really really look nice. So that wasn't working, so now I have titanium drill bits, which might work better. Oh, much better, yes. Da da! It's done. And after a lot of polishing and um, just sanding with really high 2000 grit sandpaper, I have this ring. The camera makes it look a little bit more golden than it is, but the polishing brought out more of the copper. So now it's like got a golden tinge and almost looks like it's bronze. Yeah, pretty cool. Yeah. All right, a little bit of a funny story here. So this is the end of the video, but I just wanted to tell you guys that the original casting of the ring actually didn't work out. I actually broke it while I was sanding it because um, it was so weak. So I had to recast it, re-sand it, re-polish it, re the holes and everything. And it turned out pretty nice. But I just didn't want to share that because it would have been boring just me doing it all over again. Alright, see you guys in the next video.